Welcome to Living Fuel TV. This is Casey Krejci. So you just got home from the doctor and the doctor told you that you're pre-diabetic and you might want to consider some diabetic medication, glucophage or some other kind of blood sugar modulating medication and that you're on the border of being a diabetic. So is this terrible news? Is this just something you should just go ahead and take the meds? Well I'm telling you, you don't have a glucophage deficiency. There's changes that need to be made in your body, in your lifestyle. The net of it is, if you have a pre-diabetic or a diabetic uh, diagnosis, type 2 diabetes, you need to treat it as an emergency. It is a diagnosis that leads to death. Let me be clear. Diabetes is no picnic. While you're young, while you've just been diagnosed, or while you just find that you have elevated blood sugar levels, you can correct this. Almost the vast majority can reverse the situation completely by eliminating sugars in their diet and not eating overfueling with carbohydrates and so on. So this is extremely important. So now what is type 1? We talked about it a little bit in a previous episode. Type 1 diabetes means that the pancreas is not producing enough insulin to deal with the, blood, the sugar in the blood. So this is a much more difficult, much smaller amount of people, a small percentage of diabetics are type 1 diabetes. That call, it's called by, caused by environmental factors and things that we don't even know. Sometimes it's just an autoimmune situation that causes it. So type 1 diabetes, diabetics they do still need to take care of themselves. Many doctors will tell a diabetic, hey, here's your 24-hour insulin pump, just wear it all the time, and you're, you're, it will automatically pump the insulin that you need uh, day and night. But the truth is that you, it's better to try to approximate what the body does on its own. So if you're a type 1 diabe diabetic, and if you weren't one and you had breakfast, your blood sugar would rise, and then your insulin would flow and push the blood sugar down for about two hours to three hours and then you'd be back to baseline and your body would be uh, in a maximum metabolic mode. But if you have insulin all the time, you have too much insulin all the time, that is what leads to many diseases, heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, so many other things. So if you could try also to eat low carbohydrate diet and to um, not eat junk foods and, and sugars and drink sweet drinks and those sort of things, then your health will be dramatically better. Eat a lot of vegetables and so on. I have, I have many type 1 diabetics that I know and that, we, that have gone through major changes in their diet and has made dramatic changes in the way they feel and the way they're able to get through their day. So if you will make your body work like it's supposed to work, in other words, eat your food and then offset it with a little insulin, let some time go by with no insulin and then do it again at another meal, it is far better than to just do the 24-hour cycle that many doctors have people on today. And some of these long-acting insulins have caused some problems in health, which, so I, I highly recommend whatever insulin you're on that you would look it up, do a Google search and look at some of the pharmaceutical sites that tell you the what's going on with the various meds. So back to type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is known as adult onset diabetes, but since now so many children also have type 2 diabetes, it's no longer to call that just type 2 diabetes. What does that mean? That means that your body is producing too much insulin, but your cells aren't receiving that insulin so that you, you, can, you, you take gluc glucophage or some other diabetic medication, and some people even take insulin. So if you're a type 2 diabetic or a pre-diabetic, then I call that diabetes by choice, and by, well, I'm not being rude when I say that. I'm just suggesting that the vast majority of type 2 diabetics and the vast majority of pre-diabetics can reverse that blood sugar crisis through lifestyle changes, diet and lifestyle changes. Extremely important. That also goes for syndrome X, which is just another blood sugar issue. So we go back to type 1. Type 1 diabetes, if people do like the, the most doctors tell them to do, they eat whatever they want and they offset it with insulin. This leads to other problems. If you have high insulin all the time as a type 1 diabetic and you're taking insulin, then the cells eventually will no longer listen to that insulin. They will no longer receive it. They'll become resistant. So then you have type 1 and type 2 diabetes, which is often referred to now as type 3 diabetes. Conversely, if you're a type 2 diabetic and you continue to eat like you want to eat and offset it with insulin, eventually 
you can blow out the pancreas and the pancreas can no longer produce insulin required uh, to handle the blood, the, the blood sugar in the body and therefore you have type 1 and type 2 diabetes, again type 3 diabetes. So it is a very critical issue. Take diabetes seriously. It is a death sentence but you have control over that sentence. It is often reversible and hopefully with the adult stem cells and the research going on in that area that we're going to be able to reinvigorate the beta cells in type 1 diabetics and there is hope. So God bless you and have a great day.